In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Microsoft Office for free in 2025, step by step, and then I'll guide you through installing a custom offline office setup that works right away. You'll get fully working apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more, and you won't need to enter any product key or sign in with a Microsoft account. The best part, this method doesn't involve any cracks, activators, or illegal tools. It's clean, safe, and uses official Microsoft files. So, let's get started. Before we install the new office setup, it's really important to remove any old or broken versions of Microsoft Office from your PC. This helps avoid installation errors and makes sure everything runs smoothly. If you see anything, right-click it and select Uninstall. All right, now it's time to create our own custom Microsoft Office installer, and we're going to do this using Microsoft's official website. This step is really important because it lets us choose exactly which version of Office we want. So first, open your browser and go to the website config.office.com. Once you're there, you'll see a section that says Create under Custom Configuration. Click on that. Now you'll be taken to a step-by-step -step setup page. First, under the Architecture section, make sure to choose 64-bit because most modern PCs are 64-bit and it gives better performance. Then, in the Product and Release section, click on the drop-down and select Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 Volume License. By default, all the Office apps will be selected, but we don't really need all of them. So here, uncheck the apps you don't use. I recommend disabling Access, Skype for Business, Publisher, and OneDrive for Business, unless you specifically need them. Next, go to the Language section. Set the display and proofing language to English, or whichever language you're comfortable with. Once all that is done, scroll down to the bottom and click on Export. When the Export options appear, select Open XML Format. This will give you a configuration file that works with the Office Deployment Tool. Now click Export, and it will download a file named configuration.x. This XML file is super important. It tells the Office installer exactly which version to install, which apps to skip, and how to run the setup silently. We'll be using this file in the next step to install Office the way we just configured it. Now that we've downloaded the configuration file, the next step is to get the Office deployment tool, which is the official installer provided by Microsoft. This tool uses the XML file we just created to install Office exactly the way we want. After it's downloaded, run the file. It'll ask where to extract the setup files choose the same folder where your browser downloaded the file. Just keep it simple and select your downloads folder. When you run it, it will extract a few files, including setup.exe and some sample XML files. But don't worry about those samples, we'll use our own. Now, create a new folder inside your downloads folder. You can name it something like Office Installer to keep things organized. Then, go back to your downloads folder and find the configuration.xml file that you exported from config.office.com. Copy that file into the new Office Installer folder. Also, so, copy the setup.exe file from the Office Deployment Tool files into that same Office Installer folder. It's time to start the actual installation. To do this, we'll run the installer using Command Prompt. Once the Command Prompt opens, just follow the instructions I'm showing on screen in the video. I'll type the exact command you need to run the setup using your configuration file. Just make sure you type the command exactly like I do, and hit Enter. The installer will now start downloading and installing Office based on your custom settings. It might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and PC, so just let it finish. You don't need to click anything. Now, just to be clear, for the full version of Microsoft Office, you do need a subscription or a valid license. But with this trick, you can install and use Office without any activation, for now. It works fine for basic tasks, and it's a clean way to get started without using any crack. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions. I reply to everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.